What's up, Forward Fam? It's the kid, Forward Fabian, Big Boss Stable. I'm back with a video for y'all today. I have Eric Clapton, Tears in Heaven, the official video, man. This video's matched over 85 million views. And uh, shout out to Epitaph because it's dropped on this person's random channel. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Forward Fabian, man. We're on the road to 10K. Slowly but surely, we'll get there, man. Hey, subscribe, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's get it, man. We ain't gonna waste no more time. We're gonna hop right into the reaction. Um, let's see. Eric Clapton, Tears in Heaven. This sound like a sitcom theme song, like the intro to a, a sitcom as the credits roll and introduce everybody. Like this, cause this sound like the theme song of Full House, bro. <laughs> Not funny. So we're seeing clips from some type of movies. So obviously, this is a soundtrack to something. But bro, there's a description under this. So let me read this. Tears in Heaven is a ballad written by Eric Clapton and Will Jennings about the pain Clapton felt following the death of his four-year-old son, Connor, who fell from a window at the 53rd floor New York apartment of his mother's friend on March 20th, 1991. Clapton, who arrived at the apartment shortly after the incident, was vis visibly distraught for months afterwards. The song is one of Clapton's most successful, reaching number two on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart in the U.S. The song also spent three weeks at number one on the American Adult Contemporary Chart in 1992. Bro! Oh, man, my heart out to Eric Clapton, bro. Sheesh. So he had lost a son. Died tragically, and he had wrote this song. Man. Just hearing the first couple bars, you can already tell there's some depth. You know what I mean? I mean, the title of the song lets you know he's going to be talking about something. But now I'll just listen with the extra close ear. <laughs> Somebody please tell me what what uh, movie this is in the background. What is this, bro? Do look familiar, but I can't. You know, just let me know in the comment section. I'm not going to scroll down to the comments and just spoil anything. Just let me know in the comment section, man. But this is a heartbreaking song, man. And I feel like the association is like when I see you again. I mean, he says I can't stay in heaven. So I'm not. So I guess he's writing this in an ode, like in a sense, if he could ever visit heaven, he could find, he would see his son, right? And then obviously he has, he's crying tears in heaven, but it's like momentary because, you know, he's not there. You know what I mean? Yet. But he's like, a, it's like a visit. That's what I'm gathering so far. But man, well-deserved, I mean, in terms of the number two spot on the billboard, you know what I mean? Uh, because this song got so much meaning and. You know, um, it being like a, a ode to his son, you know, it's just well deserving, man. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, what cap in there, man? 100 facts. Dude says, time can break your heart. Facts. Time can have you begging and pleading. Can make you have you beg and plead. Facts, man. All those things, man. It's funny how, like, they say time heals all. But at the same time, time is a lot more, a lot more other things to the association of time. You know what I mean? Like, because people have spent a lot of time waiting. You know what I'm saying? People spend a lot of time. I feel like that's where the breaking, if maybe, yeah, 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 you spend a lot of time waiting and at the same time you spend a lot of time healing, you know what I mean? So there's different variations associated with time. It's like when you spend time waiting and let's say you're waiting on something or you want something, you know, that, that could be what is having you on your knees pleading because, you know, you feel like you've been waiting for something for so long and it's not coming around, you know what I'm saying? You beg and plead at that point, right? But like stuff breaking your heart over time is a different scenario on its own so you can paint a million different pictures man with um that saying but that's got so much depth to it because i feel like he's looking at the reversal side of it where it's like typically everybody's like man just give it time give it time where it's like everything he mentioned associated with time was something that was like more on a like a distraught you know what i'm saying more of like a downer type of level <laughs> Let me say this real quick. He got such a subtle voice, man. It's so like, it's so warming. You know what I mean? Like his voice is just perfectly soft. You know what I mean? So it's just easy on the ears. Like just to kind of, you know, take a second to really grasp, you know, or just appreciate, you know, his, his vocal tone and stuff. Like the, his tone is just so soothing. You know what I mean? Like, very rare i feel like he he's kind of set apart in his own you know and at this point in time i really just want to do more eric clapton reactions so hey yo cat you may see some more on the way man like, let's get into an eric clapton rabbit hole Whew. oh damn <laughs> At the end, he said, I don't belong here in heaven. But it's like, don't be so hard on yourself in that sense, man. We all belong there. You know what I mean? And it's not it's not a hard road to get there. You know what I mean? Like, all you got to do is turn to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Very loving, very forgiving. It's not complex. But in a sense, man, geez. I see what he mean by that. I see what he mean by that. You know, his son. You're just speaking about his son. Such innocence. Four years old, bro. So, hearts out to Eric Clapton, the family and all that. You know, RP to his son, Connor. You know, um, this one this one is different, you know, in terms of a lot of different stuff I've even reacted to. This one was a heartfelt one. So, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fort Worth Fabian Man. It's the run 10K. Catch you guys next time.